Yeah. Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator and she's good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again here to show you some very cool, amazing stuff. Okay, guys, what I'd like to do is show you this crack text effect within Adobe Illustrator. When I say it's a very simple process to follow, trust me, it is. It's a very simple uh, process to follow to create this very cool, very trendy, very modern uh, effect that you can apply to typography. Question should be, so how do we do it? And what I'm here to do is show you the process of what to do and the steps to follow to create this effect. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do is zoom out, pressing the command and uh, minus on a Mac or control minus on Windows, just to resize my artboard so I can visually see what I'm doing. Now with my selection tool here, I'm just gonna select everything like so and just press backspace just to remove so we can get started from afresh. Okay, so. I'm now gonna use the typography tool. Let's click on the artboard, make sure that my typography is white. And obviously we're gonna type the word crack. Now using my selection tool, I'm gonna to start to resize, but at the same time, I'm gonna press shift and option on Mac, sorry, shift to keep proportionate, or, and also what I wanna do is press option on Mac or alt on Windows to resize from the center point there. Say so to about that point there, wonderful. Okay, so what I need to do to this typography is now create outlines. So with it selected, I'm gonna go right click and create the outlines. And using my selection tools up here, and so my alignment tools, I'm just gonna get them aligned correctly, horizontally and vertically. Wonderful. Now I need to create our cracks. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by using our line segment tool. I'm gonna to create a nice straight line here like so to about center point like there. And I'm just gonna make sure that my stroke has some width to it. And we're just gonna change the color just so we can see what we're doing. Okay. So using my line segment tool again, I'm just gonna come through and be pretty random with how I place the lines, which will eventually be our cracks. Let's say like that, let's say one there. Let's make sure that Lines joined up, wonderful. And shall we say one more? Why not? Let's say one there. Okay, so with my selection tool, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna make sure that my uh, lines are selected. So I'm gonna click the first one and press shift to click the other lines, just making sure I don't select the typography. Wonderful. Now, Using our profile option up here, I'm just gonna come through and create this profile here, like so. Now with them lines, what we need to make sure, because currently at the moment, these are strokes, okay? So what we need to make sure is that we um, expand these. So have these selected. After you've changed the profile, go to Object, and you have the option to expand the appearance. Wonderful. And now we're gonna select everything like so using our selection tool and we're going to use our pathfinder window which is situated here if you see this icon if you can't find this icon anywhere it's always situated in window pathfinder now the pathfinder uh, option i would like to use here is what we call a divide and this will divide everything into its own individual piece wonderful now i can start selecting we we'll make sure that we ungroup as well so if we right click and ungroup Everything now should be its own individual piece. So you can just simply come through now and start to select what you want to remove and press backspace. Like so, as you can see, it's really coming to life now. And those cracks are looking very cool. So as you can see, just coming through, just using my selection tool, click in, could be clicking at the same time. There we go, nearly there, guys. Okay. Couple more to do. Let's get these ones in the middle here. Okay. And what's always good as well is to now use your move tool and just move these a little bit, these sections here, just to uh, create a bit more of this sort of crack effect. Just 
just come through yet again, be a little bit random with it. As you can see, wonderful. Let's say like that there. And maybe move that one down there a tad, probably a little bit more up there. Wonderful. And may move this one like so. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create the crack text effects within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding more about the, the school, the courses that we offer, and us as tutors, please make sure you take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.